How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology giving you guys your new moon horoscope for Gemini. What's up guys? This is happening on Monday, October 8th, 2018. It will be exact at about 10 p.m. Mountain, uh, Mountain Standard Time if you guys want to do the math for wherever you live. Um, this new moon's happening about 15 degrees and it's happening in your fifth house of you know, love, relationships, romance, the things that you're passionate about, uh, children, uh, creation, art, you know, the finer fun things in life. And so this new moon, now that it's, you know, we're talking about Libra ruling this part right here, this new moon's really having you guys, I don't, I hate to be so cliche, but setting new intentions around this. And I think a lot of this has to do with realizing what you guys want, realizing uh, what works and what doesn't because this new moon is going to be highlighting this Venus retrograde in Scorpio. And this is happening in your sixth house of problems, of issues, of everyday things. And so as Venus retrogrades in Scorpio, it's gonna be kind of like a loss for energy. Uh, you're gonna be wanna, wanna more internalize your feelings and your thoughts and kind of like differentiate what you wanna put your focus into and your value into on an everyday basis by realizing what issues are gonna be, you know, by real, you'll realize that by seeing the problems that kind of come up but this new moon is helping you guys kind of see that and have that new direction of where you want to take it um as this new moon happens where it's in your fifth house kind of like resetting intentions with what you want uh having nicer things at the moment enjoying your children more whatever it is for you um it is going to be highlighting venus retrograde where it is going to be kind of like okay i see the issues in this now where you're kind of pursuing where can i better focus my energy in order to keep having the things that i really do want and this is important because Mars is going to be trining this new moon and it is just moving out of shadow and Mars has been in your guys' ninth house and it's been retrograde so it's been kind of like testing what you guys like you know really believe about yourselves and what you really believe about other people and it's kind of you know if maybe if your midheavens in your ninth house too it has some stuff with your career but as Mars has been through this and it's you know been over the south node it's had the eclipse on it it's been retrograde as it moves forward in your ninth house, I think this is a way better time for you to start enacting on a lot more better established beliefs. And we're talking about Mars in a very Saturn ruled, in a, not, I shouldn't say a very Saturn ruled sign, a Saturn ruled sign. And as Mars is in the Saturn ruled sign, Saturn's in your eighth house of all these issues and problems. I think this is going to be a big time for you guys to kind of step up your game and kind of like, hey, I'm done playing around with, you know, um, what I, you know, going back and forth with what I want to pursue, going back and forth with, you know, what I really desire, what I really want. It's time to start kind of moving forward on some beliefs that you guys have about yourselves that you really want to take initiative on, you know, having a little bit more security, having a little bit more control, having a little bit more uh, connectedness. And I think this Mars in retrograde or this Mars part of this is, uh, hold on, calm down, Cameron. <laughs> Mars is in your ninth house and it's just moving out of shadow and it's squaring Venus in your sixth house. So I think you're going to see the problems with what you're kind of pushing forward that maybe don't really work. You may have a lot of like, you know, beliefs about what you want to, you know, about what things are supposed to look like, how things are supposed to go, and it's just not really working right now. So it's about coming back to realizing what do you want? What do you value? How can you be more consistent and precise with those actions instead? And this is a big time of really changing your habits and your behaviors and your beliefs, or I mean, uh, changing your habits and your behaviors to kind of shape your beliefs in a way that's going to be a little bit more um, applicable for you, a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say easier, but more of uh, efficient and effective is a good way to put it. So as we have this new moon and it's squaring this, and it's trining Mars, squaring Venus, there's a lot going on for you guys. I think the best, your best bet is to really just conserve your energy and really focus on where your energy needs to be at that moment. And try not to distract yourself too much. Try not to get too lost in your head. I know that's really hard for you, Gemini's. Uh, but this is just about resetting those intentions, filling that new energy with the nicer things in life, with the finer things in life. So keep focusing on those things and you'll start to see that come alive a lot more. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing, whatever it is you do. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon.